Well, everybody, here we are again. I've got just a few hours before we have to run off to a Christmas party, and there is a lot of rain on the way, and all I've been thinking about is getting out here and finishing this trail up. So, if you look back behind you here, you can see, maybe you can, it's kind of dark out here today, see these flagging tapes. I've already got this trail flagged out for about another 100 yards, and if you can start to see the opening through the trees out there, that's the food plot. So I'm eager to get another way in here because realistically, here's what's gonna happen. All out here is that kind of lower swamp area that I call my duck pond that I've been driving through to get to this point. And if we keep getting these rains that they're calling for, eventually that's gonna fill up. That road's gonna come real boggy through there. And until I get some rock hauled in and build me a nice base, I'm gonna get cut off and not be able to drive the, this whole loop. And I knew that was coming. And eventually I'm gonna get some rock hauled in and uh, kind of build me just a little rock dam so to speak a rock road right across that old low muddy area so i can travel it year round unless it's just really high water then i'll just have to avoid that area but today's plan is to go ahead and bust out the food plot i'm excited about having another entrance to come in here once i get this cleared out we'll come back in and then back behind you we'll make our upper big figure eight loop and i'm going to have even more trail and dirt work to do up there so that one will go on over many episodes if you watch my chainsaw sharpening videos, you know I've just found this steel two-in-one sharpener. I have fell in love with it. So, I'm going to touch the saw up real quick. It's so easy and simple now with this product. Gas it up, oil it up. We're going to get started because i got a couple trees behind me that I didn't get last time. That as I've been driving in here, I've realized they've got to come out the way. And one of them, although it's small, it's extremely tall. So I've got to figure out how to fall that without it hanging up in the upper limbs. And I'll get some decent firewood out of it as well. All right, a little bit of a problem here. This is the tree that I want to take down. And to be a small tree, it is extremely tall. It goes all the way up there and it's kind of hung up in the canopy with all these other trees. Now about the only safe way to fall this tree is back toward the ranger. And I would like to fall it this direction so I can easily cut up the firewood and stack it. <clears throat> the issue that I'm running into is the tree has a pretty significant lean that direction which would put it out in the swamp not where i want to cut my firewood and the top is kind of leaning this direction making it want to fall that way so ultimately the tree would wind up somewhere over here exact opposite of the way that i want to go so i'm going to try to do a specific style cut which is going to be difficult to do on a small tree and then i'm going to use a wedge which again is hard on a small tree there's just not a whole lot of room to drive a wedge in and not hit my chainsaw bar. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can make it fall this direction. Let's see what we can do. All right, well, let me show you what I've done here and see if this works out. So I've made my face cut. I have angled it the direction I want the tree to fall. 
Now, this is, I made my back cut, and this is what's called holding wood right here, just above my hinge. On the opposite side, I have cut much closer, about an inch away from my face cut. On this side, I've left more wood, so I've kind of cut in at an angle like that. That's not typically how you would do a tree, but the more holding wood you leave on one side or another, that's the direction it'll try to pull the tree. Then this tree already wants to fall this way and backwards. Like I said, if I leave it a little bit more over here, kind of, I made it kind of pie shaped like this. More wood over here will naturally pull the tree as it falls. Now it's just about ready to go. It's leaning <clears throat> backwards pretty heavy on that wedge. So I'm gonna drive it in and see if we can get somewhere in this general direction. <clears throat> Now here's another problem I've run into, and it's very hard to wedge over a small tree. My wedge is actually going in and hit, hitting what's left of that holding wood. So I can't drive the wedge in far enough to finish tilting the tree. So I'm gonna stack wedges on top of each other. That'll give me more lift without having to go so deep. Well, I am pretty happy it went exactly where I wanted it to. <clears throat> now, typically when you make a good cut, the tree will bust on off, but this is sweet gum, and this is some of the stringiest wood I have ever cut. Now, I probably could have cut just a little bit deeper, but this tree was already leaning so bad this direction, it was putting a lot of weight down. So, could have did a little better there, but overall I'm happy. It's right in the trail, I had to fight two different types of lean. Always carry some wedges with you. They will save you in the woods. All right, well, I it with a pretty decent little stack of firewood out of that one tree to be so small. So happy with that. We'll utilize it as best we can. And like I said, this is sweet gum. It's not a very desirable firewood down here, but uh, they grow everywhere in these low-lying areas. But it'll be just fine for what I call camp firewood, you know, any kind of outside firewood. We'll burn this in our fire pit next year, most likely. <laughs> coming and I got to go get ready for a Christmas party but I made it now y'all keep in mind I've still got to come back on this entire trail bring the pole saw out cut vines and limbs out of the way there's some rough roots and holes so I have to come fill those in or put some dirt over them 
So there's still a lot of work to do out here. All I'm doing right now and for the next few weeks is just rough cutting. You look back here behind me, the trail's pretty much done other than this rough, nasty blowdown that's right here in the way. What I'm gonna do is just go grab the tractor and root rake, push that out of the way, that'll save my back. I've got an old piece of fence in here that I gotta tear out as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly the drone here in a second and show the trail off, but know that this is about to be cleaned up. I'm just not gonna go back and record the little couple minutes it's gonna take me to rake that out of the way. So I made it, I've got another entrance now. It's, it's pretty rough, there's no doubt. So still a lot of work to do. Whenever uh, we come back again for another video, probably need to go ahead and run this section, chip up all the limbs that's on it. And then uh, we'll start heading on up and kind of make that upper figure eight loop. And that's gonna be a pretty big section there. So we'll probably get multiple videos out of that. Appreciate y'all watching.